everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and it's our daily card reading for January 8th, 2022. AngelSouls444.com for personal readings and Gumroad.com slash Angel Souls for extra angelic content. Get on over there and check it out. All right, what do we have going on for today? I heard Remembrance and then I saw people, <laughs> they're like celebrities that are on the other side. So it feels like there's a closer connection to that now. Now we know the veil between the third dimension and the fourth dimension has compressed and uh, it's easier to pick up on frequencies from the other side. But let's see, full moon in Scorpio, again, transition, okay, and transformation, breathe through the tension. I think we had this last week. So again, it's about how we show up and how we handle the things that are presented to us. I had, I'm gonna give this, silly story this actually happened to me I went out stopped and I got a drink and I was bringing it home got into my garage and the bottom of the cup <laughs> fell out the side of the cup cracked and it literally I'm just standing there holding it and it's popping out of the bottom it's popping it's cracking on the side the lid popped off and I'm just like what in the heck like what just happened everything <laughs> It's like sticky drink went everywhere. I had to go out there with like a watering can and like rinse everything out in my garage and wipe the side of my car down and the whole bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, breathe through the tension, my, my foot. Um, I mean, but I did, I was actually very impressed. And this is why I was impressed with myself. Yes, it's one of those stories. You won't hear me say that very often, but normally I would have been like in shock for one and then been like, yeah, I can't believe I got to spend all this time, you know, cleaning this up and this. I can't believe that just happened. I would have been kind of angry about it. Like, who gives me a stupid cup? That's a stupid cup. It, did, it didn't hold the liquid, okay? <laughs> like, it's a bad cup. I would have normally freaked out about that. Not freaked out, but, you know, been like really upset about it. But instead, I went, I don't even know what that was. You know what? Not worth my energy. I went and got some paper towels. I started the process and I was still in awe that that had even happened. But emotionally, <laughs> I didn't get like super triggered. I mean, you'd be surprised if that happened. Well, comment down below. If that had happened to you, how would you have really reacted? Probably would have thought there was a ghost. There was probably a ghost in my cup. I'm not lying, okay? Like, <laughs> it's something weird. <laughs> something really crazy about that. But really, how would you have responded to something at the end of the day is annoying, but it's not worth getting angry over, right? So that's the kind of thing that, that was a really long story and I do apologize. Um, <laughs> but, you know, breathe through the tension. When something comes up, is, it, is that moment really the end of the world? Or is it because all these other bigger things that you're trying to pretend are okay are just adding up and now it's coming out in a small way, right? We see people do that all the time. So really gauge your response to things and pat yourself on the back if you end up not getting so upset about something that normally you would have, all right? Because I think that indicates a little bit of progress. <laughs> so we're gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.